Hey, 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 everybody. Happy Wednesday. I'm really, really excited about this. Super duper duper stoked uh, for many, many, many reasons. So I'm just going to give this a second here to see if anyone's going to hop on. I was going to announce the time that I was going to go live today, but I kind of... I can't believe it's already 2.15 here, so I'm sorry. Normally I would announce what time I'm going live, um, but from here on out, I'm going to go live every Wednesday and every Sunday, and so I will be letting you guys know the times for those, but um, I'm super excited because I've decided to start doing series. So like every month I'm going to, you know, focus on a certain topic and then obviously break down the main topic into a number of different calls throughout the month. And so this month, um, I decided that I wanted to do something about getting your mojo back because it's something that, you know, it's very real. It's very real to me. I talked about it a little bit before. Um, the other day is you know like the seasonal affective disorder and people getting the winter blues and you know just different things it's very 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 real and so it's really easy to kind of get out of your groove and you know even with me you know it was like okay I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing I'm doing meditation I read personal development I you know I work out every single day I like I just was at a point where I was like what else can I do like there really is what else can I do there's nothing else that I can do right I use the oils I you know was taking baths like everything that I thought about doing that was gonna help me it wasn't working however it's March, right? It's almost the middle of March. And so the sun is staying out a little bit longer. It's actually warming up here some days. And so I just wanted to share with you guys, I kind of asked or did a poll about like what people like to hear from me. And um, I had an overwhelming response of, you know, messages, which is really, really, really cool. Um, so I'm glad that I can really help you guys and have an effect and it's very helpful to myself when I'm able to help others and so it's like a win-win for me um, and so anyways this series my series for the month and my live videos and everything that I'm gonna be doing like even a little bit of research or things that maybe beyond what I'm doing you know I'm not an expert by any means but I do help hundreds and hundreds of other people and so you know I'm pretty good at figuring out for other people what will work um, or things that they can try maybe that they haven't tried before so first of all I want you guys to kind of make a deal to yourself that you're going to give it a shot right you're just you're gonna do it you're gonna try you're gonna you're gonna do something different you're gonna make a difference you're going to have a different outlook you're gonna have a different attitude you're gonna be excited you're gonna uh, let go of negative feelings you're going to you know get into a different groove right just 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 have a different mindset and that's some we're gonna work on that I'm gonna work on all of this with you guys but just have an intention for the rest of the month that hey um, hey Brandon sorry it takes a while sometimes for the comments to come up and stuff so make make an in, make an intention right now just in your mind Put it below, say, I'm all in, I'm going to get my mojo back, you know, whatever the case is, hearts, thumbs up, you know, just make a declaration to yourself. And what I'm actually going to do, if anybody is interested in this, I've made up, um, it's basically a commitment form. And so it's a commitment of, you know, I put this in our new challenge group. So it's really hard. A lot of people, you know, for months and months and months and now a couple of years, they really, really, really want to like start my program, for instance. You know, they 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 know that they need to make a change. They know that they know how amazing Shakeology is. This is not a, this is not a sales pitch. Um, but for how long have you been thinking to yourself, like, I've got to do something different. I have to do this for me, right? Just let's do it. Let's do it together. These are the things that I'm going to be sharing with you for the rest of the month, okay? So anyways, here's what's really crazy about this. I shared this with actually my friend Sam. She just jumped on. So <clears throat> I've been thinking of like what to call my series for the month. And I just, for I don't even know why, but I was like, 
March Mojo. It just, it sounds good, right? It's two M's. It, you know, kind of goes together. Um, how to get your mojo back, you know? It's something that I was working on the last couple of months and something that I don't tend to lose very often, but it, it happened to me too, right? So I was like, March Mojo, super cool. Now here's what's crazy. I uh, subscribe to, it's called Darren Daily. Write that down. Darren Daily, D-A-R-R-E-N, Daily. Um, Darren Hardy, he is amazing. It's, it's personal development. It's something that you can sign up to get his text messages every single day. Um, the max video of his is like five minutes long. Most days are around two or three minutes. And so it's really, it's just a really quick way to get a good dose of personal development every day. So you get this text in the morning. So yesterday I, you know, wrote down, I have my calendar right here. I have all the different um, topics that I want to talk to you guys about this month. And the title of the thing today was how to get your mojo back. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, I can't make this stuff up. The, the, the universe listens. Like, I do meditation now, I do affirmations, I, you know, whether or not it's that you, you want to pray or whether you believe that there's, you know, that there's a universe out there that listens to you, whatever the case is, it's out there, right? So speak to it, uh, talk to it, you know, set goals, set intentions, put it out there for the universe or for God or whatever it is to you, put it out there. Hey, my brother. Hi, my brother. Um, put it out there to be heard and so you can receive it back. Like, what are the odds of that? That the, the topic of my series that I want to do is going to be March Mojo. And then today, this daily text message that I get from Darren Daly is how to get your mojo back. It's just insane. It's insane how these things have been working for me since I really, really started working on myself and doing the personal development and doing all of that stuff. So I have some notes here because I want to make sure I like I've just have really been excited about this video today, especially. Um, but one thing that he said, it wasn't in my notes, but this is so huge because I can totally relate the, to this too, is for him, he's like, how many people have that voice of somebody in your past or could be current? How many of you have that voice in your head or remember a look on somebody's face that told you that you weren't going to be able to do something? Like you're not good enough to do that or you're never going to be this or there's no way you can do that. How many of you have that? Probably every single one of you, right? Okay, me? I'm that kind of person where if you tell me that I can't do something, I am for sure going to do it and I'm going to do it well. I'm really trying not to swear. AJ's sleeping and so it's like the time of day when I can swear. Um, but I'm super, super passionate about this also. So I'm going to try to like, I'm not going to swear. But anyways, let the fire that you feel when somebody tells you that you cannot do something, let that be your fire. Show them that they're wrong. Prove to them that they're wrong. Better yet, prove to yourself that yes, you can. Yes, you can do this thing that other people say that you can't do. Maybe it's a bunch of people that say that you can't do something. Prove them wrong. Yes, you can, okay? That's huge. Anyways, here's what I want everybody to kind of commit to doing. Um, as I said, the whole month, every Wednesday and every Sunday, I'm going to go live and it's going to be about this topic, getting your mojo back. How can we do it? It's going to be kind of a, a slow but steady and effective process for everybody. Um, first of all, get your cheats out of your system. I say cheats because a lot of people are so like, oh my gosh, I could never do that. Um, I love pizza too much. Uh, okay. Like, eating clean and eating healthy. It's science. You have to do that. You're going to get very, very, very sick if you continue to eat processed foods and junk and you continue to binge and do things to your body that you shouldn't be doing. Again, I can say that because I did a lot of harm to my body through drinking. And then what I realized was after I had such a drinking problem when AJ came along is I did start to and still sometimes will binge like it's it's something that I didn't even really realize that I was doing um but like for instance like say I have you know if I feel like oh my gosh I shouldn't have had that extra 
piece of pizza like don't get me wrong I'm not saying that you shouldn't enjoy yourself um, but like I get the realness of it I get how real it is or when you 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 use different things as a crutch to get through certain things right like I get that if for years for me it was drinking and I did a lot of damage to my brain and my body um, and luckily you know I made a switch and I know that I have to do all of these other things to ensure that I'm gonna be healthy and I'm gonna be around for a long time for my son right and my husband and for myself like I am on a good roll. I have a good thing going. I have this amazing business. I have this amazing family. Good things are happening to me because I'm putting it out there to the universe and I'm allowing it to come back, okay? That's also hard. It's hard to open up and to like, to know that that good things are available to you. It's It's very hard for some people. Anyways, get your cheats out. Meaning like, if you wanna, you know, Go all out and have, you know, a, a bunch of spotted cows or if you want to, like, eat a ton of McDonald's or, you know, whatever the case is. If you want to go to Starbucks every day and spend, isn't it like $7 for a, a coffee at Starbucks? It's something ridiculous like that. Um, if you want to eat a bunch of donuts, like, do whatever it is and then be done with it. So by the time that I go live on Sunday and try to, let's see, Sunday... We're gonna start from the we're gonna start from the basics, right? So we're not even gonna get exactly into like the food part per se right away. But anyways, get the cheats out. Get it out. Just get be done with it. If you if you drink every single day, cut it back. If you drink soda, you know, it's a it's it's a real thing for people that drink soda. It's hard for people that drink soda. Start drinking seltzer water with some like lemon and lime or something in there. Just just tone it back, just tone it back, okay? Getting the bad things out of your body is going to start to help your mentality and it's gonna to start to help give you energy and it's going to help you on this journey of getting your mojo back in March. It's March 8th, we have plenty of time, okay? Also, set a measurable goal to accomplish by the end of March. What does that mean? It means you something that you can track something that you can set smaller goals throughout the month to achieve a bigger goal you always hear me talking about that don't make a goal to hit you know for don't make a, a new year's resolution because people that make resolutions oftentimes it's like oh it's new year's day okay this is going to be my resolution and there's no thought behind it there's no action plan behind it there's no checklist behind it you have to have all of those things to hit those goals okay um here's another huge thing like, do you have integrity? Do you say that you have integrity? Or is it important to you to keep your word? Is it important to you to not lie? Do you expect others to tell you the truth? Um, I would hope that everybody would say yes. But here is the, here's the thing, you guys. If that is so important to you, then why do you continue to lie to yourself? Meaning, how many times can you look yourself in the mirror and be disappointed with what, with what you see? How many times do you look in the mirror and you're disappointed that you said you were going to quit smoking or you said that you were going to start running or you said that you were going to stop, you know, buying donuts every day, whatever the case is. How many times are you going to look in the mirror and continue to feel sorry for yourself because you haven't made those changes? How many times? If you have integrity and it's super important for everybody else to be honest with you and it's super important for you to keep your word and to not lie, then why do people, why do we all, we all do it. Why do we lie to ourselves? Why do we say things that we don't follow through with for ourselves? You guys, in order to be the best for everybody else, we have to be the best for ourselves first. Period. Period, period, period. Okay, here's another thing is um, I am really excited that I now have a bunch of men also that I help. Um, a lot of times it starts with, a, you know, a wife or a woman, you know, that joins my group and then oftentimes the husbands jump in. But I actually have a lot of guys that have reached out recently and so that's really, really exciting for me. I'm able to kind of work with everybody. I just wanted to touch a little bit about... Um, on International Women's Day today because I think it is super super special and important and you know all of that stuff but I also think that it's um, 
it's important to know that like we are very lucky to have the freedoms that we have and I think it's very um, I don't know if you guys saw my post today it was just a quote I think you know a lot of people fall victim to race or to gender or to things like that and I don't I don't want this to turn political and not everybody's going to have the same views as me, but like I am damn proud that I have the ability to be a stay at home mom and to run a successful business. I am damn proud that I can vote in this country. You know, there's just, there's a lot of things on my mind with this topic and everybody has their own opinions and I don't judge. And, um, that's one thing that's really hard for me with, I, when I see these different posts and, you know, women unite and this and that, but then then when you go to some of these rallies or marches or groups or whatever the case is, is they only want what's best for these women if these women have the same exact beliefs that they do. And that to me is, it's just not, it's, it's just, it's not right. So, um, here's to all the successful women and all of the amazing moms and daughters and grandmothers and aunts and, you know, cousins and sisters and friends. And, you know, I, I love you all. And I hope, um, this is just my little, little part on this is I really hope that people can stop kind of falling victim to circumstances and just always be great, you know, because if people were always just great and always just worked on being better and always worked on, you know, um, making a difference in their family and making a difference where they can make a difference. I think that that's, that's huge. And I think it's going to be, um, huge. I think, unfortunately, the difference between what our grandparents did and, you know, how hard those women fought for the rights that we have now is that those women didn't fall victim to their circumstances. They didn't fall victim to their race. They didn't fall victim to, um, gender they didn't fall victim to oh well so and so works in my office and gets paid more than me because he's a man or whatever like women are doing their thing you know women are making a ton of money women are you know they're working hard to get where they should be um the women in my life they're super successful you know so that's the kind of the difference um is is people back then that got us the rights that we have didn't fall victim to their circumstances and so I just my wish for the world and it's not just women um, but if you're you know if you love women and you're a part of this group that only accepts women that do this or accepts women that do that it's not it's not the point of uh, women equality or you know or celebrating women um, and that can be said for a lot of other things out there as well but Anyways, I just wanted to give a little shout out to all of the awesome women out there and, you know, make a commitment. Just make a commitment to doing better. Make a commitment to to have integrity with yourself. Make a commitment to, you know, setting some goals. Make a commitment to, you know, to to cut back with the soda or to get outside and run, even if you can only run to your mailbox and back. Like, just do it. Just try and stop being victim to your own circumstances because you're just bringing yourself down you know stop feeling bad about you know all of our circumstances they form who we are and like i would never change anything from my past it certainly has made me who i am today uh just learn to embrace things and that's a huge thing about what i will talk about next week um i think on uh sunday maybe probably even you know, a lot of it's going to be about personal development and just, uh, just doing better, just being better, just filling your mind with better thoughts. And, you know, that's even well before I started coaching, I started posting my daily quotes and, you know, that's just a reminder to myself for sure. Um, but also a reminder to everybody else. Like hopefully when I post these quotes in the morning, people are seeing that and they're falling in love with that. And maybe it just makes them think for five seconds, you know, like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me check myself. Um, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of hopefully, what people are understanding about my passion with all of the things that I do is it's really, really, truly just about lending some peace and some um, options and some positivity and some hope, you know, to other people. And so anyways, I'm really super excited about March Mojo. 
comment below. Tell me you're on board. I'm going to every Wednesday, every Sunday, going to do these videos from now on forever. Um, but for March, it's going to focus on getting your mojo back, getting away from these winter blues. Um, just making a difference, making a difference to yourself, right? In your own life, making a difference for you. Um, because I'm going to say it one more time. I say it all of the time, but in order to be the best for everybody else,